Hello, welcome to SoundBridge Rhythmix Edit Window Tutorial. In the Edit Window of Rhythmix, you can edit your sounds. And let's start from the envelopes. You can assign an amplitude envelope to your file with an attack, decay, sustain, release, all the standard. You can sync those values up, all the time values. You can sync them up to the BPM. And of course, all of those values can be exponential, logarithmic. Now, aside of that, you have a filter envelope, which can apply a low pass, high pass, band pass, a notch filter, all the same functionality across the envelope. You have the central cutoff frequency and resonance for the set filter. You have the envelope amount applied, and of course the envelope itself which can be synced can be logarithmical just the same as for the amp now i have the pitch envelope which also serves as a tuner you can detune your sounds in semitones sense you can use an fft or a sampler algorithm an fft one would be time stretching to achieve the set pitch now the sampler would use a standard resampling algorithm. You have the envelope amount for the pitch, plus and minus, it can be positive and negative. And of course, you have the envelope, which again has all of those goodies like sync and the shape of each one of the time components. Now you also have the humanizer, which can humanize the pitch value, time value, this is the time offset so that every sound would be triggered a bit maybe later, randomly, of course. You have the volume humanizer and the panning humanizer for each one of the sounds separately, of course. Now, the next thing, when editing, you have effects. Distortion first. You can lower the bits. You can decimate your sound. So, under sample. You have the drive integrated and you have some sends. Now we will get to adjusting these sends when we go through the effects panel. Let's continue with the editing window. Now we have the EQ. This EQ has four points. You can see this right here. You can move them by using your mouse, your finger. You can of course adjust the Q for each one of those and you have the analyzer. So as we change our EQ, we can also follow on the analyzer what's happening. Aside of the EQ and all the effects that you just witnessed, we have some main controls, the gain control for the said pad, for this one sound, of course. Panning for this one sound. We have the spread, which is actually a mid-side balance knob. We have the solo and mute controls, which are connected to these solo mute controls for each one of the pads. So if I was to solo this kick drum, it would be soloed right there. And we have the phase flip control for the sample. Of course, if we're looking at the sample itself, we have the crop mechanism on it. So we can just play this part of the sample or make an offset so it starts later. We can normalize the set sample, which is going to normalize the sound and rewrite it. We have the playback methods, uh, reverse, retrigger, and of course, loop and trigger modes. We have the pad selection button, where you can actually select which pad we are controlling at the moment or editing and we can choose that pad through all of our 64 pad bank so once i change here i see another pad bank go back now the midi section allows you to assign a key or a pad from your midi controller that will control and trigger this actual pad you just click midi learn click your controller and that key you sent will be mapped 
to this pad. Of course, in the lower left corner, as you have seen, I have a trigger button, which is ergonomically placed there so that when you have your rhythmic stretched over a touchscreen, it's really convenient to be in this corner so you can trigger it while using the other hand on your touchscreen to mangle the parameters. And if you've just seen, once I add some pitch humanizing, the humanizer engages and the pitch envelope engages since we need that envelope because it's also the pitch modulation. So that engages automatically. Another thing we can choose from the edit window is the output. Now we have 16 stereo outputs going out from Rhythmix and we can map this pad to either one of those. Once they're mapped, we can actually send either one of these pads to another audio output and process them on different audio channels in our DAW. On every window in Rhythmix, you have the main gain control, but I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Immediately when you start playing something, you see that it's actually shown right there.